In this exercise you can learn the JavaScript properties behind creating shadow effects on the canvas element. Before we start playing with the shadow properties, let's put in some comments that way we understand the values that we can place for each property. So the shadow color property you can use any color names, you can use hex values like CSS color values or RGBA values. And for shadows I prefer using RGBA set to black. That way I can adjust the alpha which is the A. And I'll show you what I mean in a moment. The shadow offset X and shadow offset Y could have positive or negative numbers applied depending on which direction you want your shadow to lay. And the shadow blur is just positive numbers you can give that. Now before we draw that rectangle I'm going to give it a fill style of orange color. Now I'm going to put the shadow color. So I can take the shadow color property, put it here, and I'm going to make that equal to RGBA color value. So RGBA, open close parentheses. And within the parentheses you set the color you want. To get a black color you just put 0, 0, 0, and then a 1 for the alpha. So I'll just leave it on 1 for now. Then I'm going to take the shadow offset X property. And I'll type in CTX dot shadow offset X is equal to 5. And I can just copy that because I also want to have 5 for my shadow offset Y. Now if you were to look at this right now, you would see that you have your shadow. But it has no blur. Now what if I offset the X minus 5 pixels? It goes the other direction. And if I offset the Y, it also flips the direction for the Y offset. Okie dokie. Now we're going to take the shadow blur property. So let's take TTX dot shadow blur and let's make that equal to something like 3. And then you can see that you get a nice blur effect on your shadow. So if you were to set this at something like 2, 2, and 3, you get a nice sharp clean shadow effect that has just a little bit of blur to it. Now the reason why I use RGBA is because now I can take that black shadow and go to 0.5 on the transparency on the alpha setting. And you can see it lightens up that shadow. I can even go so far as to put it on point 2 just for a very subtle shadow effect. So that's why I prefer using RGBA color values. Really you could just put any color you want in there. I can put purple and then I have a purple shadow and if you adjust your RGBA colors you can just put this at 200 if you want it to be full red that'll give you a full red shadow or if you want it full green you make this 200 a full blue you make that 200 and those numbers can be adjusted to achieve any color so I'll just leave it on black now if I were to take another fill rect and draw it before we set any of these shadow effects at an X position of 200 you'll see that that first rectangle drawn has no shadow effects on it but the second one does because the shadow effects were specified after the first one was drawn so I'll put this one at 50 and this one at 200 so it makes more sense the second one will have the shadow effects and the first one won't and that completes all of the shadow properties that can be applied to your assets on the canvas element